Hey everyone, this is Kubo and we're about to head into some classic gaming here, which is pretty much the general style I've been rocking uh, on my YouTube channel. This is, as you can probably tell, Harry Potter and the Philosopher. You know that one, right? It's the uh, currently unreleased Harry Potter film slash book. No, I'm sorry. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the very first book slash movie in the series. I got this game handed to me by my mom yesterday, <laughs> and I figured, hell, I might try to do some YouTube videos of this. It would be great nostalgia. I remember playing this a lot when I was a kid. So yeah, it's not a blind playthrough as such. Oh, the music is great though. Um, I like to stress that this game is from 2001, and I'm not really sure that my computer can actually handle it. I mean, I've done a bit of tweaking here and there to hopefully make it work, but... Uh, before we get into it, I'd like to really quickly read up the system requirements. It requires the operating system to be either Windows 95, 98, 2000, ME or XP. Uh, I'm running Windows 10. So... While the game did require some tweaking to actually start, it seems to be running okay. Um, processor needs 266 megahertz. I th think mine is 3 point something quad core? Something like that? I don't know. Six core perhaps? Gee, I can't even remember. Anywho, memory, a whopping 32 megabytes of RAM. Wow. I have 8 gigabytes, so I think it'll be fine. 500 megabytes of hard drive, yeah, that's good. Graphics card needs at least 4 megabytes of memory. And mine has 8 gigabytes, so it'll, it'll be alright. Yeah, I think we should be good. Same thing, it's too powerful. But uh, let's head into it and see if it actually works. Ooh. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagonary to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Okay, wow.
Graphics are amazing. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. <laughs> Look at his glasses. Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry. So search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Those were the most swagger glasses I've ever seen. Okay, so... Okay, the controls are a little bit wonky, but... Uh, what can I expect from a game from 2001? Whee! Whee! Okay, I'm kind of missing the moving paintings, but... At least the armors are moving. I'm gonna try as much as I can to go through this game uh, exploring as much as possible. Because that's generally li how I like to play these sorts of games. That. Hey Harry, remember me, Ron Weasley? My brothers Fred and George have something to show you. Follow me. Um, as I was saying, oh, hey ghost. I generally like to play games like that, investigating as much as possible. But uh, I'll probably miss, if not a few. Me, Harry. Yes, I know. Whoa. Very sensitive uh, controls. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in defense against the Dark Arts Club. Good luck, Harry. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above <sighs> the bookcase is a Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. Wait, okay, so I'm kind of thinking I might not actually use the mouse uh, for general moving around. <sighs> Many since there's no, uh, what do I call it? The looking around thingy is done with uh, A and D, which is usually in more modern games, uh, strafing motion, but this one is just turning, like this. Well done! Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. Right, we'll you that. the shortcut and meet you there. As you see, if I move the mouse just a little bit up and down, it goes nuts. And I reckon that not only myself, but also your viewers will probably get a little nauseated by that. Oh, jeez. Can you not? Peeves, the poltergeist. He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. I remember Peeves doesn't like anyone. Um, also, I would like to apologize for the low quality because... Sadly, my recording software is unable to actually capture the game window if I run it in... in its right resolution uh, aka 720p you're 
it in the hang of this. In Hogwarts, you'll find all sorts of wicked treats. To pick up a treat, just run over to it. Chocolate frogs boost your energy. 30 bots every flavor beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. We need 25 beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us and we'll show you the way to class. Okay. Uh, so yeah, usually I re record in uh, 720p. But I had to downscale it to way lower than that. Uh, resolution of 1024 and 768. So yeah, it's quite a low resolution, but I hope you'll live and forgive me for it. Some things just out of my control when it comes to older games. Hopefully, later games will turn out to be a little more lenient in their uh, setup and configuration. Oh, maybe I should mention that uh, my mom also gave me the second and third games. Chamber of Secrets and Person of Azkaban, respectively. No, stop. So I'll have to see if I can get some of the other games as well. I think actually I might have. Talk to Fred. He's the one with the wizard card. Oh, okay. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. We need the beans for some <clears throat> experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Bloody right, I have. Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. Okay, if... Wow. Lovely. I actually think I might have the six and seven games already. So I might have to do some uh, research online to see if I can find the games in, in between four and five. Oh, oh. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Yeah, while that cutscene was going on, I just had a quick look. It seems I have the Order of the Phoenix and uh, the Deathly Hallows. Move along, Potter. Keep away from this corridor if you know what's good for you. Oh wait, actually, <laughs> give me just one second, real quick. Uh, I might have jumped the rope right there. Uh, I have the half blood, the Order of the Phoenix, and the half blood prince, which means I still need f games four and seven. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? The fence against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me. Well, luckily, it'll be a while before I, I'm gonna need game four. Oh, Quirrell. Professor? To today we'll learn how to pr protect ourselves against the dark magic with the flipendo spell. Oh Watch shit, mom. I think I remember then this part. Down the mouse button and repeat the button. Release the button when you're done. Uh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't really try there. What shape was that, Mr. P Potter? None of your fucking business, actually. Can do this, Mr. P Potter. Keep trying. This is actually harder than it looks. Spe 
catch you when your hand is slightly sticky. Quite good, Mr. Potter. Five points for Gryffindor. Go on, Mr. Potter. T -t Try again. Wonder if I get an achievement for a hundred percent. Oh, that's a timer too. Shit. Oh, so close. A respectable effort, but but not quite correct. That sucked. Splendid. You may now enter the Flipendo challenge to p practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P P Potter. Do the others not have to do this challenge? Hold to down the mouse button to aim the flippendo spell. Release the button to cast the spell. T -t Try it on that barrel. Oh, at least I don't have to do it. Kind of thinking, can I? Uh, can I do spells without actually using the mouse? Cast your flippendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the d d door. Flippendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter. Hang on, let me just... Let's try it like this. This is a very relaxing way to play a game. Oh, I have to aim it too? What? Hmm, I guess that's too hard for an 11 year old. So it seems like most of the game could be done without the mouse, but at some point I need to aim. Hello, Harry Potter. I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor house ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Excellent. Goodbye. I 
wonder if... Oh, I can actually aim. Just using the... Wait. Uh oh. I wonder if there are any indicators of secret stuff. for me. Nope. Hmm. So that's all three challenge stars, I think. C cast your flippendo spell on this block to knock it out of the way you know I thought the flipendo spell for the oh shit That's for dark forces I really don't think that this block is uh, an agent of the dark forces it doesn't really have that death either feel to it you know Also, maybe uh, I should say in advance, it may not be that relevant right now, but... <clears throat> sorry. Um, there might be some terms that I don't really know, because I've only read the, the books in uh, Danish. So, I might be unfamiliar with some of the terms. Of course, I've seen the movies in English, but... Still, some details of stuff might be unknown to me. I'm actually planning to change that because I'm. I have intentions of reading the books in English as well. Mainly because I kind of feel like, even though the translations are pretty good, I might still be missing out on, on some stuff. Because you just can't avoid uh, points and other things getting lost in translation. that laugh okay feel free to come back do, 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 do. <gasps> whoa a little too close for my comfort Wait, yeah, I think I've got the point of this already. This challenge can end. That did not work very well. Oh, shit. Secret room. It's nice. No, come back. Oh, damn it. Out of range. Oh, that was close. Actually. Yeah. 
do you get the feeling that this whole f screaming for Pendo might get old? I don't. I think we're gonna love it. I wish we would say it more, actually. What's this? This is a gnome, Mr. Potter. They like to p p pester young wizards. Knock him on his b b backside to complete the challenge. They move quickly and c can be quite a nuisance. There's one behind the couch, couch as well. <laughs> Ow! Dude! No, 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 no. Hell no. Can you... Oh, shit. Did you actually steal my goddamn uh, beans? Hopefully they don't wake up again. Little bastard stole my beans. Are you kidding me? Congratulations, Mr. P Potter. You completed the challenge. Yay! You collected all the challenge stars. 20 p points for Gryffindor. Now, hurry on to broomstick p practice. Oh, decent. Back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. But there was little time to dwell on this since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. Hooch. Oh, it loads so quickly, I can hardly even read these I am instructions. Your Madame Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. Control your broom with the direction keys. The speed up and slow down keys adjust oh. your flight speed. Uh, frick. I don't have those keys set, I don't think. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Just a sec. Wow, that was noisy. Let's just do this. And... Let's... Whoa. Now let's see how you do with smaller. Okay, yeah. I need to invert broom controls. Well done, Mr. Potter. Let's add a bit of fight. Uh, whoa, this is actually not as easy as it looks. God damn it! This requires quite a bit of accuracy. Easy for you to say. But These rings should challenge you. Controls aren't as uh, responsive as one could wish. Then again, I don't suppose I should ask for too much from a what is it, seventeen-year-old game? Wonder how. Uh, okay, mouse doesn't work. I can also tell that I need. Fuck! I'm not gonna get all of them. Let's try it with moving rings. Frick! Yeah, C is not gonna work for me. Gently, gently. Oh, look at that! Ow. 
I don't know what's in there, but I want it. Damn it! You're a natural, Mr. Potter. I shall award ten house points for your efforts. Can I now try it again? Practice flying at any time. Excellent. You will find the option on the main menu. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. Hmm. You're early for the lesson, Harry, but I'll teach you a new spell I've learned on my own. The spell I learned is Alahamora. It will open magically locked things, but don't get into any mischief. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. This is the symbol for Alahamora. When I stop, hold down the mouth button and make the same pattern. Then let go of the button. Need to scream? Harry? Great, Harry. I'm sure Professor Flitwick would give you five house points for that charm. So I actually get five Happy points. Perfect. So give it another go. Whoa. Stop yelling. That was brilliant, Harry. That was really well done, Harry. Professor Flitwick would award you at least ten house points. You're getting the hang of this. That's an easy way to get house points if you can just claim that the teacher would probably do, though. Okay. Oh. Melted! Work, Harry. Professor Flitwick will be very pleased with that attempt, Harry. I'm you, sure he'd give you 15 house points. You can't just give me house You're points because house you believe someone would give me. That's not how it works, Hermione. Whoa. I'm not gonna get this. Nope. Pretty darn close, though. Oh, can you that time. can you not be so condescending? Now you try using Alahamora. We still have a few minutes before the charms lesson. That door in front of you is magically locked. Cast Alahamora to open it. Now look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, uh, oh, I can't do it here. I wonder that wizard card though. Have a good day. You too. Look at all the stuff I'm finding here. Let's see... Got anything else? Doesn't look like. Have you met Hagrid? He's so large, I can scarcely see the top of his head. Alohomora! You've got it. Now, can you find the two secrets in this room? <laughs> I already found secrets earlier.
Oh, look at this mirror. If you're done admiring yourself, Harry, take a look at that magical chest. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Cast Alahomora to unlock it. Ryan, you need to realize there's nothing new about this. Oh, oh fancy. Wait, where did she go? Hermione? Whoa, lots of secrets around here. Oh, damn it. I keep forgetting I can't just jump over the ledge. Okay, so you were just trying to stall me? So it would be late for class? Welcome, young wizards. <laughs> I am Professor Flitwick, and today you will learn the levitation spell Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Observe the correct Wingardium Leviosa symbol. When I stop, hold down the mouse button and follow the pattern, then release the button. Whoa. These shapes are kind of difficult, actually. That's good for a first year, Mr. Potter. Five points for Gryffindor. Let's continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. I think I found the explanation why I can't hit shite in uh, first person shooters. My mouse control is utterly fucked. A dazzling effort, Mr. Potter. Ten points for Gryffindor. Let's continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. Almost, I can't take too much time with this either. Yeah, I'm gonna flunk this one. Awful. Do pay attention, Mr. Potter. That's not what I taught you. Shut the hell up. You may now enter the Wingardium Leviosa challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. Potter. Wingardium Leviosa on that statue, then move it onto that large plate. Okay. First off, see, no secrets. Okay. Wingardium Leviosa. Nice. Well done. Now go and collect the challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. Good luck, Mr. Potter. Not like a safe book around here. Think. Whoa. Oh hell no! Hell no! Forget it. Little bastards. Okay, there's a safe book. So. This is where I'm gonna take a break from this first video, and I'm really crossing my fingers that the outcome is gonna be okay. Uh, at least acceptable enough for me to feel okay uploading it. Otherwise, I'll just have wasted the last 40 minutes recording this. Well, not wasted per se, because I've still played the game, which is kinda cool. Great to get back in this old game. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, I hope you'll join me next time, and take care. Bye.